basketball player shoots a free throw shot at a distance of 4.57 meters from the basket. The height of the basket is 3.05 meters. The ball leaves his hand from a height of 1.83 meters. If the ball is shot at an angle of 48 degrees, what does the initial velocity of the ball need to be? So the given values are x, which is the distance from the free throw line to the basket, is 4.57 meters. Our initial x position is 0. The y is the total height of the basket, which is 3.05 meters. The initial y position is when the ball is released, which is at 1.83 meters. The acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and we're trying to find the time and the initial velocity. Okay, so we're trying to solve for the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity. Since we don't know the initial velocity, we can say that sine 48 degrees times the initial velocity, which is 0 0.743 times v sub 0, that should be our vertical component. And for our horizontal component, we can say that cosine 48 degrees times v sub 0, which is 0 0.669 times v sub 0. So these are the kinematics equations we're going to use to solve for time and the initial velocity. Okay, now let's solve for time. So we'll use our first equation, which is x equals x sub 0 plus initial velocity to the x direction plus 1 half at square. Since our initial position is 0 and there's no acceleration to the x direction, we can say that our equation is 4.57 meters equals cosine of 48 degrees, which is 0 0.669 initial velocity times time. So to isolate time, we can divide 0 0.669 p sub 0 to both sides, and which, which will give us time is equals 4.57 meters equals 0 0.669 v sub 0. Okay, now let's input all the values we have into our second equation, which is y equals y sub 0 plus initial velocity to the y direction plus 1 half at square. So we have 3.05 meters equals 1.83 meters plus sine of 48 degrees, which is 0 0.743 v sub 0 times 4.57 meters divided by 0 0.669 initial velocity plus 1 half times negative 9.8 meters per second square times 4.57 divided by 0 0.669 v sub 0 square. Okay, let's simplify our equation. So 0 0.743 v sub 0 times 4.57 meters divided by 0 0.669 v sub 0. The variable v sub 0 cancels out with each other. So what we have is 0 0.743 times 4.57 meters divided by 0 0.669 and we get 5.076 meters. Then one half of negative 9.8 meters per second square is negative 4.9 meters per second square times the square of 4.57 meters divided by 0 0.669 v sub 0, which is 20.885 meters square divided by 0 0.448 v sub 0 square. So now multiply 4.9 times 20.885 all over 0 0.448, which will give you negative 228.43 meters cube over S square V sub zero square. Now let's combine all the like terms. So 5.076 meters plus 1.83, which will give you 6.906 meters. So let's subtract 3.05 meters to both sides which will give us 3.856 meters minus 228.43. So now let's add 228.43 to both sides, which will give us 228.43 meters cubed over S square V sub zero square equals 3.856 meters. 
Now let's cross multiply and we'll get 228.43 meters cubed equals 3.856 meters s square v sub zero square. And we'll divide both sides by 3.856 meters s square, which will give us v sub zero square equals 228.43 meters cubed over 3.856 meters s square. But one of the meters cancels out, so it should be 228.43 meters square over 3.856. Then we divide 228.43 by 3.856, which gives us 59.24 meters square over S square. So let's square root both sides. So our initial velocity should be 7.70 meters per second. Remaining with a minute and 51 to go here in the fourth. Well, he tried to go with a soft wow. touch.